Alright, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. This will be a recap of this past Wednesday's Go Live sessions. And uh, for this week, what I did is that I read a book called Maybe Something Beautiful, How Art Transformed a Neighborhood. And it was by Isabel Campoy and it was illustrated by Rafael Lopez. And, um, oh sorry, <laughs> and also Teresa Howell. And uh, I found it a really cool book. And I think it will be a great inspiration for us to what, of what I want you guys to do over this next week. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. So what I'm going to do right now is read it to you guys and we'll go from there. Okay, so here's the book, Maybe Something Beautiful. And uh, what we're going to do is that we're going to open it up. And uh, what we're going to do is uh, let's read this inner column or this inner sleeve uh, real quick. What good can a splash of color do in a community of gray? As Mira and her neighbors discover more than you might ever imagine. Based on a true story, maybe something beautiful reveals how art can inspire transformation and how even the smallest artist can accomplish something big. Pick up a paintbrush and join the celebration. So this book should be really fun. What city? I wonder what city this is based off of. It says Boston in New York, but I don't know. All right, anyways, here we go. In the heart of the gray city, there lived a girl who loved to doodle, draw, color, and paint. Every time she saw a blank piece of paper, Mira thought to herself, hmm, maybe. And because of this, her room was filled with color and her heart was filled with joy. On her way to school one day, Mira gave a round apple to Mr. Henry, the owner of the shop down the street. She gave a flower to Miss Lopez, the lady with the sparkling eyes. She gave a songbird to Mr. Sachs and a red heart to the policeman who walked up and down the streets. On her way home, Mira taped a glowing sun onto the wall hiding in the shadows. Her city was less gray, but not much. The next day, Mira saw a man with a pocket full of paintbrushes. He gazed at the wall. He looked at her son. He held his fingers up in a square and peered through them. Hmm, he said thoughtfully. What do you see? Mira asked. Maybe something beautiful, the man replied. Oh, this is cool. I'm not sure if you guys can see if I go like that. Mm, not really, I'll just read it. Okay. Then, just like that, he dipped a brush in the paint. Bam, pow. The shadows scurried away. Sky blue cut through the gloom. The man's laughter was like a rainbow, spreading across the sky. Who are you? Mira asked. I'm an artist, he said. A muralist. I paint on walls. I'm an artist too, she told him. He handed Mira a brush. Then come on. Mira dipped it in the loudest color she saw. Yowie! The wall lit up like sunshine. As the man drew pictures on the bricks, Mira added color, punch, and pizzazz. Soon, Mr. Sachs joined in. Then came others. Everyone painted to the rhythm. Salsa, merengue, bebop. Even Mira's mama painted and danced the cha-cha-cha. The whole neighborhood became a giant block party until... The policeman walked up. Excuse me, he said. The music stopped. Mira put her brush down. They were surely in trouble. The officer cleared his throat, then paused. May I paint with you, he asked. So Mira handed him a paintbrush, and the music started again. Teachers and papas jumped in. Babies too. Mira and the man handed out brush after brush. Color spread throughout the streets. So did Joy. Ooh, 
another big one. Yeah, see that? Let's read up top. Wherever Mira and the man went, Art followed like the string of a kite. After they, after they colored the walls, they painted utility boxes and benches. They decorated sidewalks with poetry and shine, and everyone danced. Together, they created something more beautiful than they have ever imagined. When their clothes were splattered with a million colors, everyone sat down to rest, except the muralist. His eyes sparkled. You, my friends, are all artists, he told them. The world is your canvas. He smiled wide, then pulled everything together in big sweeping motions. His paintbrush was like a magic wand. When he was finished, Mira added one more bird, way up in the sky. Maybe, she thought, just maybe. And that's the end of the story. And it uh, <laughs> looks like I gotta read this because I think this is actually, it is based off of a true story, but I really wanted to know more about it, but uh, I don't have time for that. Uh, maybe we'll talk about that later. But what I want to talk about is uh, what we did after that. So I read this book to um, them on Go Live Wednesdays. And then what we talked about is uh, what they could do to uh, be inspired by this book. So what I wanted them to do is if they had sidewalk chalk, I wanted them to go out to the driveway or the sidewalk and draw something beautiful, just like how the book did. Uh, if they don't have sidewalk chalk, they can still participate by using this piece of paper, their own coloring supplies or pencil or pen. And then let's tape it to the window that where it's nice and visible from the outside and then just make sure people will be able to see it from the street so anyways um, i hope you guys enjoy this lesson and uh, that's basically it so anyways i hope you guys liked it and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye